<laughs> hey guys, so in this video, I want to walk you through a thought experiment and it's a really cool thought experiment and it starts with a question and that is, what does an ideal world look like? And this thought experiment, uh, like, like whenever I ask myself why I, how I stay motivated in engineering or why I, I, I keep going and, and, and how do I make the decisions I make, I always come back to this blueprint or thought experiment that I have in mind. So what does an ideal world look like? Um, and, 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 and to answer that question, to begin that thought experiment, uh, we could invert it and, and, and ask the reverse, and that is, what does a non-ideal world look like? What does a terrible world look like? A terrible world would like have a lot of wars, a lot of famine, a lot of people dying for no reason, a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of people like arguing with each other on Facebook posts, even though they're total strangers and they're probably agreeing deep down, they just don't know it. And I, I, even though our current world is advancing and, and it's progressing and, and we've made a lot of progress, the world has gotten a lot safer, uh, the, the world is still not ideal, right? We, we still have ways to go as, as human beings to kind of reach this ideal world. So, so, so what would this ideal world look like? So if we invert the, the, the terribleness, the ideal world would simply be a world where there is no wars, there is no conflict, there is no people dying, especially for no reason. Uh, everybody's needs are met. Uh, there aren't unnecessary um, conflict. And, 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 and most of the emotional problems that humans deal with and cause a lot of the pain and suffering uh, would not exist, like uh, lying, cheating, hurting, um, these kind of things would just not exist. And, and, and that's not because there would be like laws or rules against them. It would be because humans have elevated to a much higher level of awareness and consciousness and empathy, uh, such that these kind of things just would, would, would dissipate, would, would be un, unheard of for someone to do that. And this ideal world is a, is a love-based world. It is not fear-based. So a, a lot of things we see today in our current world, uh, a lot of things are fear-based, right? Like a lot of news channels propagate ideas that are fear-based. A lot of uh, people will, 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 will use fear as, as like kind of a motivator to push their own agenda. But in the ideal world, there is no fear. There's only love and there's only uh, purpose and, and, and passion and, and pursuing and uh, like, like, like curiosity. And, and, and there's all these things that are stimulating uh, but like not negative, not fear, not anxiety, not not any of that crap, and that would be that would be really cool to have that. And basically, in an ideal world, you'd obviously have also like ideal friends, ideal partner, ideal work. You'd, you'd have work that is really fulfilling. By then, the robots, which are our friends, uh, will have eliminated all the like boring, repetitive stuff, and all all the work is is freed up for us to do is is basically art and research, right? Like, like I, I really disagree when people are like, oh my God, like automation is taking away jobs. Well, yes, but, oh my God, that was my cat. But, <laughs> but um, yes, automation does take away jobs, um, but it also cr creates, it, it, it frees, it, 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 it takes away jobs that require like your limbs and, and, and moving things. And, and, and that's not really what that like mind was made for. Like it frees up, the capacity for the mind to do more artistic things and more creative things and use more thought and, and, and basically use your brain more and your limbs less, right? And uh, like you can still use your limbs, like if like like in an art an artistic uh, endeavor, like like you could sculpture, you could paint, you could use like like right now we're, we're like you you could still you could still use your body. It's just that instead of doing like boring repetitive work, you'd be doing something a, a lot more creative. Um, and, and, and in an ideal world also, like you could um, have, you could, you could like do whatever you want. You could like time travel, probably through like brain machine interfaces. Uh, you could like, I don't know, go across planets or you could go across countries like really fast or basically immerse yourself in, in a lot of experiences and, and find really what stimulates you. But for example, I, I would love to time travel to like 1978 England because that's where some of my favorite rock bands were being formed and, and nurtured, like The Cure and Joy Division and and, and um, um, The Smiths. And even though it's like very melancholy 
um, music is, is, is I would love to go back and meet those artists. Likewise, like uh, like Florence during the Renaissance, how cool would it be to actually live and immerse uh, during there, or like Baghdad during the Islamic age? Um, or, or there are many examples. And and now now you might ask, okay, this this sounds like a really cool to be part of, like a very kind of utopian future. And what what would it take to actually be part of that? And 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 the and the solution. Or not necessarily like like the way to get there is by integration. Uh, the, the the ideal world will have to be created by the ideal humans, right? And, and 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 what do the ideal humans look like? Like what would an ideal human look like? Or or what can what what are the ideal conditions that a human would go through to be able to create such a world? And that basically narrows down to three things. That is the ideal human or or the human in ideal conditions has access to information, like through the internet, for example, uh, is very conscious and aware, and basically like self-aware and conscious, and is not just, and is able to critically think for themselves. And third, and, and very important, uh, has received a lot of like love and nurturing growing up, um, such that they, 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 they on, an, on, on, a, on a deep-rooted psychological state, they operate out of abundance. They operate out of love. They don't operate out of fear or scarcity, um, and 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 they're not like resentful in any way. There's there's none of these like hidden uh, negative emotions, and 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 they're entirely operating out of like inspiration and curiosity rather than like fear or insecurity, and so so if if, if we're able to equip every human on the planet with the ability to access information. Um, and this is something that has already been worked on, for example, through like space-based internet, like Neuralink is doing a great job. Uh, high level of consciousness and awareness. Uh, this is probably gonna take a lot of work in the area of education and, and kind of just teaching people how to think for themselves and, 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 and what it would take. Like there's still a lot of research and engineering required to, to, to build the tools necessary to get humans caught up on that level and then as far as making sure every 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 human on an emotional level is all set, we'll kind of go hand in hand with the awareness because the awareness and consciousness of your own shortcomings will be enough to figure out, okay, what, what you need to work on, like, okay, maybe as an adult, but for the future generations, uh, we kind of learn how to create the ideal environment for children to grow up in so that all children will grow up uh, preconditioned to, to, to be in this, in the, in this um, like ideal world and and, every, and and free thought like free speech would be obviously a thing free thought is encouraged um, every, like you, you, the whole idea is is we create the ideal conditions for you as a human such that you are able to use your own miracle of a brain and and, and because your beliefs are gonna be in the right you're not gonna have any like insecurities or limiting beliefs you're, you're gonna be able to use your brain to the full capacity that it has and contribute something whether it's like research or art or engineering and, and building the tools necessary. So this actually brings me back to, okay, this sounds cool that we have this ideal world blueprint in mind. That's kind of the thing that we, we hope to approach. And we, we think we know what it would take to get everybody there. Now, how do we actually build the tools necessary to activate those things, like making, making humans more conscious and more aware and, and, and giving everybody on the planet access to internet. Like, like internet could, uh, at this point, it's pretty much like a human right, like, like air and, and food and whatnot, and, and internet access, because without internet, two humans, one has internet access, the other does not have internet access. They live in two different worlds. One has humongous advantage, which is being part of the collective brain of, 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 of humans through the internet, and, and the one who does not have internet access is pretty much screwed. Um, so ideally, everybody should have internet access. And again, with I think space-based internet and 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 and, and making advances even on, on ground-based internet, I think I think that would be, I think we're getting there. But basically, the most important player, or 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 or, or the most important element in this transition from the current world to the ideal world is the engineer, because what do engineers do? Engineers solve problems. And, and, and build things, right? And build tools and, and, and things that, that either solve problems or, or, or create opportunities. Like for example, Starlink, which is providing space-based internet as an engineering project, right? Like first you have to figure out, okay, where do people need internet in remote areas? Okay, how do we design 
a bunch of satellites that, that orbit in a ring that they're able to cover those areas. And, and, and once you're actually trying to build it, there's all elements, different elements of engineering. Like how do you, like the electrical engineering, what battery does it require? What communication system does it require? Uh, how does the, uh, like, uh, how's the power handle? How are the circuit boards designed and from computer engineering? Like how do you uh, develop the flight computer and, and have it interface with the other components? Or mechanical engineering, how do you build the actual structure of the satellite and whatnot? And, and this is just an example, but in order really to, to, to have the innovation and the problem solving capabilities to, uh, which by the way, the, the, the more we innovate and with, 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 with good intent, like obviously technology can be, is, technology is neutral, like it could be used badly or it can be used in, in a good way. But again, assuming that humans are conscious, aware and empathic, uh, the, the, the more we accelerate innovation, the more humans are likely to uh, solve some of these problems, which would, uh, again, be, be along like giving people access to information, but also helping people become more conscious and aware, um, and then providing the people, whether through education or through, again, some type of tools or, 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 or I don't know, brain machine interfaces, the necessary tools to, to raise children that like feel loved and and, 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 and and have the full capacity to explore their own curiosities at their own pace. We wouldn't really have like kind of grade schools where you're, you're kind of boxed in. Like, like, like we would d design and develop, which again is an engineering project, which obviously requires the research uh, and from the help from teachers. And, and I'm, I'm not saying we're gonna like say forget everybody, but the engineers will be the, the enablers of taking the knowledge and ideas from people, actually building things that enable them, right, and help us transition to that. Um, and 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 a more and another point player, uh, like kind of an advanced engineer, is the entrepreneur. And the entrepreneur is, is the person solving a problem and taking personal risk um, in order to solve the problem. And, and there's a, and, and they understand that there's a big chance that what they're doing may not work out. Uh, entrepreneurs will play a huge role in this transition. Entrepreneurs and engineers hand in hand. Um, like like an entrepreneur in a way is kind of like a mega engineer. Maybe not as technical, but could, like given the right resources, could utilize engineers to do something specific. And I, and I really think engineering entrepreneurship, I, I really think from what we've seen, that's, that's really the way to go to push change. Um, uh, like, sure, you could like vote for the right person and hope things happen, or you could go and build something, or, or you could go and, and be part of a team that's building something right now, right here. Um, so, so if you're watching this and you are an engineering student, oh man, you you are like like we need you. You are the ideal player for this ideal world because you will help push the innovation, and you will help solve the problems, and you will help build the tools, and you will meet with the doctors and the teachers, and and, and everybody else, and and, and kind of. See, see see how how we can take things to the next level but you are the enabler you are the bottleneck generally and and that if you're able to build solve the problems build the tools necessary um you are you you're, you're helping us get to that ideal world and this is something that's like very important because if, in, in the back of your head like when you're applying to like a job or an internship uh, in the beginning of your career like very early on um, obviously you want to get, as of now, in this non-ideal world, you just want to get any job so you can get experience, cling on to it and then build your way up. And then, but, but then once you're in a more leveraged situation, uh, you really want to keep this in the back, back of your mind. And you're like, this kind of work that I'm doing, what is this work con contributing towards? And, and, and how is this, what is this impacting and how can things be made better? And, and, and it doesn't have to change the world. Like what you do does not have to get us immediately but, but even if it's like making a one percent incremental improvement in, in the area that you're work, working in and in, in any type of engineering that you're doing that that's amazing that's that's really cool like like getting an engineering training uh and having obviously good intentions and, and putting it to good use like like that's one of the most amazing things you could do for for yourself and for your fellow human beings because you're basically installing algorithms and, and data in your brain that will enable you to again, build the tools and solve the problems necessary to get us to a place where random people are not arguing with each other on Facebook or, or, or things of that nature. Like you, you, get, you get the idea with where I'm going, but once all that is done, 
and we eliminate a lot of these problems and, 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 and a lot of that, the emotional baggage that, that, that comes with the problems, we're going to free up the human mind to do the thing that it's very beautifully capable of doing, and that is art and research, right? Like, like being curious, asking questions and, and, and pushing uh, to innovate. And, but, but also the thing that makes us human, which is art, it's ex expression. Like the emotions are not going to go away. If anything, we're going to embrace emotions and we're going to try to get the artist out of everyone. Because I really think what makes like an artist is a human. Uh, like a, a, any human with emotions has some artistic uh, tendencies or, or capabilities. That, uh, it's just that they may lack the self-awareness or, or um, the consciousness or, or, or like, like to actually activate it and put it to good use. And that would be something that would be really cool to do. Now, why, why am I making this video? Because as an engineering student or, or anybody really, um, like, like when you look around the world, it's kind of very weird right now. Like it's a very noisy world. There's a lot of noise. There's a lot of like, like, I don't know, like, like even the online internet virtual world is kind of weird. Like all oh, there's all these gurus, there's all these people trying to sell you stuff. And there's like, like, it's just, it's, it's just a, it's, it's a very weird world. And um, it's, it, it can be very easy to lose track of what you're doing and lose motivation and say, why is this even worth doing? Like, why am I even doing what I'm doing? And maybe like, if you're married, you have kids, maybe your, 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 your goal is to just like, like feed your kids, which obviously is like what you should be doing. Uh, but like, let's say you're like a, just a student or an engineering student or like a like freshly graduated engineer, uh, you may very easily come to this kind of demotivated state of, oh, like, what's the point? Like, why am I doing what I'm doing? And, and what, what really is going on uh, in here? And having this blueprint of the ideal world uh, can, can be really helpful. Because if you, if you can just think of, okay, what I'm doing is, is I'm building a tool or I'm solving a problem, and, and, and it could be something incremental that's gonna, even after a long enough period, help us go into that right direction and understanding that you are the, the, the most important player in this equation, um, I think that can help you get, get a really good understanding of what you actually want. And then that will actually activate your ability to listen because having that blueprint in the back of your mind will give you the access to kind of tap into your own like inner wisdom, like your own, like, like, like your heart, like what you want, like, like, like asking yourself, what do I want? And, and, and you, you, you will know, like you will feel, you'll gravitate towards something, right? And with, with that kind of vision, you'll just, you'll just start gravitating towards the kind of opportunities that will push you in that direction. And, and you'll start meeting the type of people that will also push you in that direction. And all you gotta do is just take the first step. So if, if you like, like whatever it is, like, like, like just, just like, like learn how to le learn the basic skills, uh, do, do, do some good work and, and, and just like to do, do the first step really well, execute very well on that. And by basically being able to do that, following your heart, you'll be able to push through the hard times and, 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 and you'll, you'll wake up at, like, like you'll go to sleep every night knowing tomorrow will be another day to innovate, solve problems to help us push to a place where we would all like to be. And yeah, with that, I think that's all I had to say. Which if you if you made it till this point, um, thank you, that's really cool. I'm glad, I, I, hope, I hope you got something from that. Peace, love.